if the caliper pins aren't pushing in right and they're seized, you have to unscrew them to get them out. But you can see I haven't pushed the caliper all the way back so I don't have to put a C-clamp on the caliper. I can just push it back in and then do the bottom one. I'm putting new rubbers on. So I'll do one at a time. Then that way I just release the second, just push it back in so I didn't have to put use a C-clamp to push the piston back in. I'll just do one and I'll do the bottom. But I'll take the uh, pins out and put new rubbers in. I'll clean this up and then I'll put the uh, special uh, grease back in. So you got two sides of this rubber. It doesn't look the same, but it goes like that. The rubber here, which is this one, disintegrated. And I got to see if the piece is on the inside in the caliper. These rubbers look okay, but they are cracked though. I'll show you this one on the vise. See that's where the grease escapes and the water goes in. The first thing you know the pins are rusted and then seized. And that could take a little while though. Months. So and when you buy them you get a kit of four anyway, so change them all. Ribs is what holds the grease in there. I've got a tube of caliper grease. It also comes in a little package too with uh, new uh, calipers. You want to pack it as much as you can inside. So I'm going to get that packed properly. And you don't want to drop that on the floor and get gravel on there either. Then we can pack it that way. A little bit this way. And we can push the plunger through. There, some is being held in there. Then you got a little bit excess. If you have too much, it'll just squirt out of there anyway. back in I'll just snug it up just snug it up though okay I'll back it off a little bit Okay, now I'm going to undo the, the bottom one. You can just swing that up. Right about there. There's the other one. See, there's the bottom pin. It doesn't have a place for this rubber, only the top pin 
uses this rubber up here. And then there's some that don't even have it on the top. But this kit had one. So I'll clean that up. If you have to, if it's uh, really rusty, you have to wire wheel it. And then clean the hole. This one I have to wire wheel because it was rusted right. I'll show you. It was rusted right in there. in place it's sealed in Now I'll tighten it up and I'm done this side. And of course I'll hand tighten it as well to make sure it's tight because I don't think this gun will get that, that tight. I don't think this impact will get that tight so I'll have to hand tighten it. But off to the other side. I'm just ready to do the driver's side. It's the same as the other side. I'll do the top first and then go to the bottom. Rubbers. And yeah, I didn't show the jack stand. For safety. There it is there. <laughs> 